Hello and welcome to another video of my 10 part videos. This one I will be looking at Premiere Pro and the uses of it in, as a video editing program. Um, there is multiple ones out there. Personally, I'm a fan of most Adobe products just as their usability. Once you've learned one, you've learned a lot of them and it's just a convenience for me as well. Um, so once you've downloaded and set it up on your computer, the first thing you want to do is select a new project. It will define what you want to call it. So for example, video one for this example one, your location, and then your general settings. Um, the main ones you want to look at is your video. So the way in which the time framing is set up, I go with time code and it allows to show milliseconds audio for the same reasoning and then capture quality. Finally, press OK. Once you have opened up the project, you will find the interface to have four main settings. First off, we're going to go through our importing of media and such as that. So if you just go down here to your media, your file location, for me, I will quickly skip through this. Once you have found the source of your media files, they will pop up in your bottom media browser here. If you independently it will then show it in the top left corner and it allows you to auto play it and also change the speeds, the size of the frame as well as multiple other settings and if you also look up the top you will also find the effects control panel, the audio clip mixer and also the data. This one is in my opinion highly useful and a very quick and easy way to change the for example, time and duration of video and your frame rates and also multiple other aspects. For this example, I've actually used the 10 part series as an example of editing. So I've just selected all of the clips that I've taken from that. And once imported, they will drag over and be placed in the order in which they were recorded with the video recording at the top, as well as the sound below attached as one file. Here you'll see they come to again a total of roughly five minutes. Depending on the way in which you want to edit your video, this is a great way to add and change additional media. You can add in a separate background music, additional videos, and also cut and paste. So for example, if you want to just select a component of them, you, all you need to do is select Alt and then click. I've skipped ahead and quickly worked through all the videos and just cut and pasted and ensured that there was no little mishaps, errors or long pauses just to make the video a bit more smooth flowing. I will develop this further but the use of using the razor blade tool on the left here is the most convenient. It simply allows you to slice in two locations, go back to your cursor which is also hotkeyed as V, selecting that and then deleting. You can also control Z and that will allow it to go back to normal. Now that I've made the video smooth running without any little interruptions or pauses, I'm also now going to install some music to the background. All you need to do is come down to where it is in the sources tab, select it, right click over it, and you can go to your audio game component. And depending on how loud the original file is, allows you to reduce or increase the volume. For example, negative 10 decibels or removing the negative sign to increase the volume. As I want it to be background music, I'll just do it quietly. Okay. To make sure of this, it is also good at times to play through and then double check the volume and you can also change that afterwards. Once the audio has been dragged in and the volume has been changed, a very nice useful tip you can do the video into sections to allow for the gradual transition in volume so for example you can cut this first bit to have a larger volume and then fade into this lower one and then also doing that at the end fade out a music so if you come back over to your effects once the video is selected down to your audio transitions crossfade and exponential fade you can drag that onto the video. You can also change the section slash time frame in which that video will fade out. 
this is a great component if you want to change from one music to another. So there is a quick run through in the way in which I personally edit my videos just quickly. I may change this to add a little bit of depth including a cover title and other components but once that is completed you are simply to file export media once that is loaded. The main importance when it comes to exporting is to get the best quality as possible. So first off you want to select your format which you want to go down to your H264. There's many others but that is the best suited one. Then scrolling down you also want to include your audio and video depending on what type of platform. Basic video settings and frame rate are set as dependent on your source as well as your aspect ratio and then encoding settings you want to do hardware once you've selected your hardware encoding you want to go down into profile select high to get the best quality possible level same thing 6.2 as the highest possibly available I've got that will change the width and height ratio which is okay that's just a higher level and then scrolling back down I like to use bitrate encoder two pass so it'll do the exporting in a two-stage section and allow for a more smoother and cleaner it will take longer but in this sense it is better depending on your computer's capabilities you want to try to aim around the 40 bitrate export and to reduce your computer going into overdrive which can also force it to crash you want to set your maximum bitrate we aren't using BR so we will not set that and also finally up the top here you can select your output name which will allow you to also set the location and this one I'm just going to set it and save as desktop and then simply pressing export once the video is exported and is available for access it is simply finished